But first, you found a great piece of art and you have no idea how to hang it, where to put it. The frame could be even more important than the photo or the painting inside of it. And no one knows that better than our first guest, Megan Hoban from Prairie Brook Arts. You have been in the art framing business and artwork business for 27 years with your family. We have Alexis. We are in downtown Overland Park, historic downtown Overland Park, and we're celebrating 20 years in that neighborhood this fall. So what does the average person need to keep in mind when they're selecting a piece of art for their home. You know, it's kind of cliche, but I always tell my clients to buy what you love, what makes you happy, what colors bring you warmth in your home, what you really will enjoy day after day. And so these are kind of some examples of um, different styles of pieces, but yet pieces that can really make a difference in your home. When you talk about your business, it's an art resource business, mm -hmm. not just a gallery. Right. What's the difference? We are a little bit different. Um, traditional galleries, you go and you look around and different artists' work is on display. We really represent our clients and what they're looking for and what their needs are in their home and their office. And we bring great artwork to them. Now this is stunning and it's a, it's three dimensional. It's, it's it got is. a lot going on. How it does is. someone it's know when they make an investment like this that it will look good? on their wall, short of taking it home and putting it there? Well, which does help. We um, at Prairie Brook, we're art advisors. So we help the client find that perfect piece. And oftentimes we do home appointments where you come to the gallery, find different maybe pieces. We take them out, put them in your environment under your light with your colors and see what works best. These are really phenomenal pieces of art. A common question people have yes. is whether or not a mirror counts as a piece of art. That's Does it count? In my book, no. <laughs> in my book, a mirror is kind of a cop out for, I need something for the space, it needs to be easy, so I'm just gonna stick up a mirror. I really encourage people to challenge yourself, find a piece of art that you really love and put it there. A great frame can transform it can. a piece of art. So tell us about that. It you can. have something in your hands right I now. I do, and I always tell clients, I know it's kind of the thing to have art just stretched like that um, mm -hmm. without a frame for a very minimal look, but just adding a simple float frame makes a huge difference in finishing the piece and makes it really make a statement. You can take a look from kind of a contemporary float frame like this and easily add a linen liner which is another frame and a frame like that and you totally transform the look look of the piece that looks grand that beautiful when you do it. so is this out because I, I always go with the stretch no. you really you know what the artist has worked on that raw stretcher bar like that and an artist really wants to see it finished I mean a frame just takes it to a whole nother level you also specialize in helping businesses we do pick out what kinds of artwork I mean hotels doctor's offices, things like that. Do you ever walk into a business that you didn't do and you think, why'd they pick that piece of art? Well, and, and even more importantly, art is what conveys your image. So when you have great looking art in your entry, in your conference room, in your hallways, it really sets the stage for, for your office space. So what kind of frame would you suggest for for this a contemporary piece, piece like yeah. that, I would go with a float frame, just very something simple like that. Even in a black would look fantastic. Just something to finish those edges and make it look done. So is a float frame when there's a space? Uh-huh. It, like, it looks like the canvas is just floating in there for a nice, clean, finished edge. Is that a new trend? That's kind of a new trend. Here okay. it is in black, too. It just gives a nice pop around that piece of artwork so that when it's hanging on your wall, it really looks good. What are we seeing there? Okay, so here's some just project pics of some um, clients' homes that we've done. This is a beautiful piece. See how that you can just see the edge of that float frame above that fireplace. Having a nice large piece above a fireplace really makes a statement. That client could have easily done a mirror there, right? but she was bold and brave and decided to um, introduce color and it really makes a statement. Was there lighting behind that or was it just over the top? That was just over the top. And tell me about lighting. Lighting is important. You really need to take that into account when you're, um, when you're looking at art for your home. Um, What's that one we're looking that, at, Megan? That just has great natural light coming in. But see how that one piece of art sets the tone for that room. It brings in the needed color in that white neutral space and makes a statement. Can you go too big on a wall? Or do you feel like never go too, it's never, I no think such thing it's always big. better to go big. Go big or go home? Go big or go home. If you're going to do it, <laughs> do a great big piece. I love that. Megan Hoban, thank you so much for being here. So things to keep in mind, particularly the float frame and yes. that new trend, because that is really beautiful, the way that looks around that artwork. Thanks, thank Alexis. you, Megan.